Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of my bucket list day. Hey fam! Glad you could join us. Indeed. The topic of this video is remodeling. Yep. Yay! We are doing more remodeling in the rig. We are indeed. Um, and well needed, much anticipated, and I've been like waiting like, I don't know, like 10 years or something for this. <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> Get okay. It. So the first thing you're going to see is uh, we kind of remodeled a little something in the bedroom to give Joanne more storage, which I don't <laughs> know why she needs more, but she says she needs more because she has more stuff. Just a little bit. But you guys take a look at this and look the way he did it. It's brilliant. Um, Jeff, the engineer, as you can tell, um, he does it when he does it, he does it right. Um, takes his time. <laughs> I would, I would staple in glue. You're gonna see, you're gonna see me screw up a couple <laughs> times here. Funny, I say that, right? <laughs> so, it's not everything is always right. <laughs> but um, it is, and it gives you guys great ideas as to um, what other options you have if you do need more space. Right. So not only are you gonna see that, but then you're going to also see that we're planning some more remodeling. <laughs> which Joanne is excited about. Yeah. And at the end of the video, you're going to see a $1.6 million surprise. surprise. Yeah. It's a present for me. It's it's a present for Joe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but you guys are going to enjoy it because uh, yeah. it's, it's a big surprise. Yeah. So Stick we'll around. be right back. Enjoy. So today, you see we got two little closets right here, or cabinets. And we're going to take this upper cabinet, which goes into the bedroom, kind of zoom in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart, pull that panel off, and allow access to get into it from the bedroom. I'll probably just leave this door here, and we'll just put baskets in there, something like that. That way Joanne can have more storage because she says she doesn't have enough. <laughs> Women. They never have enough storage. Leave a comment below, ladies, if you agree. I think that they have too much stuff, but guys, leave your comments below if you agree with that. In fact, go to the Facebook group and uh, maybe we can have a little uh, discussion there about it. I'll leave the link below on how you get onto the group if you're not already there. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna need to do is take off all the screws holding the brackets in and we'll try to punch that panel out. So we are going to get my lovely assistant to hold the camera while I do this because I can't hold the camera and there's really nowhere to mount this to do that. So we're doing it for Joanne. So now we're going to enlist her help. Taking those screws off is not the right idea. It turns out these shelves are only stapled in. So I'm gonna take out the shelves and then the front support. Hopefully that back wall will come right off. So we're just gonna pop the shelves off and see what we can get. Okay, so whenever you're working in RV, you always have to remember you have to possibly change gears. So as you can see here, I had to take the frame off because while it's screwed around the back, it's glued and stapled everywhere else. So that wasn't coming apart the way I planned on taking it apart. So I had to take the whole door panel completely off. So now, I've got to remove these three pieces just to pull that shelf off. I'm hoping this is separated here. I'm thinking it may not be. So I may have to pull that off too so I can pull that whole, this whole panel off. So that's the next step. Okay, 
So, I had to do a little bit of work and uh, again, I lost my camera person, but I'll show you the progress. So as you see, I took the panel off and then we were able to punch this panel out that covered this whole area. Now what I gotta do is take the staples out of all the trim pieces, put them back in place and the shelves back in place. Then I'll put this panel back in the opening here. You won't even know we took it out, but then Joe will have shelves in all these openings right from the bedroom. And boom, she's got uh, another closet. Which all I'm doing is encouraging her to buy more crap and more clothes, which maybe I should rethink what I'm doing here. <laughs> she just said, Jeff, I hear you. <laughs> anyway, so now let's go pull staples out of all those trim pieces. So now I'm here with all these trim pieces. As you can see, it's got all these staples in it. I gotta pull all those out and then we'll re-staple them back into place and put the shelter back in. So, the best way to do that, and we don't care if we mar up this wood, it's kind of all messed up anyway. I just grab my pliers and pull. Well, these are deep staples. They take a little more effort. Keep pulling, we're getting it on there. There we go. Yeah, they're kind of long staples. So I'll do that for all of these and we'll be right back. Okay, now I got all the staples out of. And I did all the all work. Pieces. I did it. I thought you were going to go, let me tell you something. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to reassemble these. Oh, you know what? We got more staples to take out. Can you bring me the two shelves, please? Oh, yeah. Guys, if you could have seen what I just saw, in a million years you couldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, I know. Hand me one. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bunch of staples in here. This one I got a little broken. Let's see if we can fix that back up. Or turn it over and over. Alright, so let's get working on these. So we'll pull the other way. Okay. Done. So there you go. How's that look? <laughs> now we have the shelves back in, the front panel's out. So that's what you're seeing from the back side. But now I'll let Joe show you what it looks like from the front side. I can... There you go. Bed. And all we're gonna put a big bin in here, I have a big gray bin for the bottom. And then I have little matching bins that match actually my bedding. <laughs> oh, my ballerina! There you go. Perfect. And there's Jesse. As you guys know, I like to play practical jokes. So once JoJo loads this up with all her clothes and stuff, I'm just going to come in the garage and start pulling it out. A lot of things put your face in there one day. And she's going to wonder where the heck is all my stuff going. I will kill you. Because you know I'm going to do that. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. Howdy. So as you saw, we did the uh, remodeling, the little addition for her closet and storage space. Yay, love it, love it, love it. Love what, um, love what you've done. Need the space. Um, great for you guys to um, have different ideas where you can find the space if you don't have a space. And I hope you like what I did with the basket because it's yeah. left open. Um, we don't have any doors or anything on it. I wanted to keep it really neat and clean. Yeah. So, so the baskets worked out great, I think. Good. Thank you. 
think it looks great. And I love the space. So she adds additional storage space. So okay. just a little uh, disclaimer, underneath the laundry basket or behind the laundry basket, which you can't see is we did actually open that whole area up too. So now she hides other things it's down big, there. a huge bin of more shoes. Right. So, yeah. And uh, that's, that's kind of the area where I kind of take things out, put wood in there to <laughs> play practical jokes on her. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for stuff he's missing. If any of you have one of those little fake rubber snakes or something like that, please get me one of those so I can put it in her shoe bin. Don't do that. <laughs> Spiders and bugs. Ugh. So next you're going to see what Joe's real excited about, and that is the remodel of... The galley. The kitchen, the galley. We are going to remodel that. This is a big deal. So we're not going to tell you all of what we're going to do. But it's a specific. It's not just to make the kitchen prettier. It's very, very different for a specific need. Yeah. yeah. So take a look at what we're doing here yeah. and where we went to get the good stuff yeah. for this remodel. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, of course, if you like what you're seeing, you like what we're doing, please comment, reach out to us, share, but always like, subscribe, and ring that little bell. Yes. Please. Always do the things. We need you guys. All right. And then stay tuned to the end. Like we said, there's a $1.6 million surprise. It, I love surprises. Can I have it now? Ye, ye, no. It's not mine, is it? It's not yours yet. Okay. You got to wait for it. <laughs> Stick you around. Wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. Watch this. So today... Oops, I'm moving a lot. Sorry, guys. We're in a car. So today, and we didn't mount the camera here. We're just kind of doing this on the fly. On the fly. With one wing. Yeah. So, <laughs> so today is a big day because JoJo finally gets to remodel the kitchen. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah. So we are on the way to the store. A to very get... special store. Yes. I'm sorry. We are on the way to a very special store yeah. to pick up a few things that we had ordered. We'll uh, pick this all up when we get to the store and, and share more. So stick around. Okay, everybody. We are going to need to make room. <laughs> oh it's a lot of stuff. This is another project. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Now you know where we are. Can you see it behind us? Yeah, I see it. I had to go higher to see it because Joe's too short otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we are. That's where we are picking up all of Joe's stuff. My toys. So we can remodel the kitchen. For a very specific tailor, specific reason. <laughs> yes. Someday these are going to work. And we are going to show you what all that is in another episode. Yep. So we're gonna get this loaded and then we're gonna go in and play. Yes. Well, is that playing or is it exploring more ideas? Oh, I play. All right, we're gonna go do that, but we're also gonna get some Swedish meatballs. Lots of food. Follow us! Yes, follow us. Well, first we gotta load. Yeah. All right, cool, this I have to make. Okay. All right, do you guys need help with this or are you good? Um, you, I can't, is it light? I think it's not too bad. I think we can. You got it? Alright, have a good day, guys. Thank you, you Can too. Can we take the cart to back up there? over here in the cart parking. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Small as we thought, huh? Just going to be very, very, very busy at home. There we go. All right, we're all loaded. And we wonder why Joe injured her shoulder. Come on! Don't go that way. You need to go this way. Okay, sit down.
drift mount backwards. No, now you're in the way. Now how are you gonna get out? This is me recording her. So as you know, you can't go to Ikea unless you get yourself some Swedish meatballs. They're pretty good. Too small. You can get four for a dollar. With all the great prices they have here, that seems a little high. But went in Rome. I don't know where Joanne went. She saw a cute kid and went running. I don't know if she's going to take the kid or what. I think she went to go find coffee. Alrighty, sir. Okay. How did we do? Not bad. I mean, we only got a couple things. We, uh, we did get bones. <laughs> Cheese grater, whisks. Chopper. Yeah, chopper. Choppers. Yep. Probably by all important flexible cutting boards. You never have enough of them. But the important thing we got priorities were meatballs. Chicken. Chicken and sausage. And regular Swedish meatballs. And of course, something oh, neither one of us have pancakes. had. Since we were kids at we didn't home. We've had these in a while. Yeah. Yummy. Like we love them. We're going to have them tonight. And uh, I guess that's it. We didn't do as well as we'd hoped. We were still missing one other thing. Okay. Oh, lady. I love you. I love you too. Say that out loud. Okay. That's not what she called or said to me about 10 minutes ago, guys. If you only, if you only knew. All right, Joe. And everybody who's watching. So Jeff promised to sell his soul to Uh, did not. Okay, I did. That was yes, funny. that was Joe. Look at how wide this entryway is. Even I fit up this. Very nice. What do you think of the finish, Joe? Yeah. Armor sink. Very cool. Yeah, all soft claws. At this level, you want. It's got to be every. Yeah, you need more remotes here. We scared me. Yes. But did you see what it is? Yes, folks, they're putting Vikings in motor coaches now. What? Oh my gosh. You need to see that. Flipping Viking refrigerator in a motor coach. Nice, very deep. Bunks. Two bunks, two little kids, obviously. And two TVs, of course. All the cabinets. Guys, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but the finish on these is incredible. This finish is just beautiful. Fireplace in the master. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Of course there is. And that's a nice looking king. Now, it's all the same size, but the windows all the way around it, the headboard, storage on both sides, and the nightstands. Yeah, that's nothing. 
apologize it's only one band-aid. But again, you get to the master. Ah. Oh, let's get see the heaters here in here. The shower. All cedar shoes. Cedar line closets. Let me show you. Very nice shoe rack built in. Washer and dryer. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's just And the shower is gorgeous. It's small, but it's gorgeous. Well, it's really not because you drop that. Yeah, but they have the separate valves here. Mm -hmm. And you can adjust. Oh, it's got the Insta Hot, so you can adjust the temperature on there. Oh, well, look, I've got a toilet seat in here. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody needs that. So what do you think, Joe? I'm gonna see what the stickers are. Sure, we can get two. Yep. So Almost a million six. One point six million. So, Joe, if we get this unit, we need a few more subscribers. <laughs> and we need all of you to like subscribe and click that join button so Joe can get into one of these. All right, here's the cockpit, everybody. Wow. So, I guess that's a couple slide throughs, storage, trays. And the paint on this is beautiful. Yeah, it really is. Now, uh, Andrew Steele, who has a beautiful channel that goes over these rigs, he's always talking about the finish. And here, I'm with you, Andrew. The finish on these things are beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, everybody, that was the Newmar King Air. Very, very pretty. So, for $1.6 million, you can have one of these.